Gentlemen, we are here to talk about IndyCar's future. I have been salivating over this. We are going hybrid in 2024. Jay Fry, IndyCar president. David Salters, president of Honda Performance Development. Mark Stilo, Chevrolet's competition motorsports engineering director. Did I get that right? Yep, yep. Holy crap, nice. I got it right for once. Yeah, nice. It's an amazing it's title. An amazing title. Yeah. Yeah. Very, Very important. important. Short. Very important. Yeah. We have this really cool thing that's happening in IndyCar, and it's been happening throughout motorsports and in other series, but here, there's something really unique coming to the bell housings of uh, the Indy cars next year, these Delara chassis, and that is a supercapacitor-based motor generator unit, a marvel of packaging. This is something really unique in motorsports. Y'all are working on together. I want to get to this amazing collaboration going on between Chevrolet and Honda, which Jay folks might think would be impossible. Yeah. Aren't they full-time rivals trying to beat each other on the track? Absolutely. But they're also here for the best interest of IndyCar. Could you start yeah, us off we, with no, that? We couldn't be more excited about the collaboration, about what they've been doing. Um, you know, we've had weekly meetings, daily meetings. We had meetings this morning about it, right? So um, it's amazing the progress that's been made since we've kind of brought them both together to do this project. Um, we were quite excited about um, the overall program where we were going, but now that they've both engaged completely in it, it's been amazing. David, I know for you, with your Formula One background, experience with hybridization, you've been a huge champion of this for a long time. Tell me about this shift in strategy where there was a vendor originally announced that was going to handle everything, but then came a point where we need IndyCars manufacturers to really get centrally involved. Tell me about this and the collaborative efforts between HPD and uh, Chevrolet. Okay, so the first thing is it's been quite delightful. We've we have the privilege of looking after a lot of smart people. To see them all work together is good for the good of what we're trying to do. Also, we understand racing. I think where it got to was really good, but then the tricky bit is trying to make it so it will survive in an extremely arduous environment. But we understand that between us. It's, there's no room, it shakes too much, it's too hot, and you're trying to do things with it that it probably didn't want to do. So, but between the our groups, I think, has been great progress made. It's delightful, actually. We're normally trying to beat each other to death out there. <laughs> so actually, to work constructively, I mean, everyone respects everybody because yeah, sure. you really respect your what everyone's capable of, but trying to work together to make this happen. You said delightful cool. twice. That's yeah. big. That's, extra That's good delightful. stuff. It's extra delightful. See yes. how That's awesome. Yeah. On top yeah. of Cordial. Yeah. Yeah. Is this is like a United Nations thing, right? This is <laughs> where we're coming. But oh, see, we're going to end the video with these two arm wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, you gotta, that's the co competition part. Right? Yeah, At some point, they're going to compete again. Right? Also, we, we need new technology. Yeah. Um, to IndyCar's credit, there's been great steps this year with sustainability. World class, really. Yeah. I think this is another great step. And we look at, we, our privilege is often looking after young engineers. They're engaged with this stuff. Mm. So that's important as well. Hybridization, software, energy management, all these sort of things. The modern world. We're both from automakers, that's important for us, and cars get more efficient and all that sort of stuff. So we want to be able to show that, so that's important, I think. Mark, you're in charge of so many things, uh, whether it's NASCAR, sports car racing, IndyCar, from the high-level engineering and, and technology side. There was a decision that had to be made in this 2024 hybridization of, well, if both manufacturers are going to really be the ones to manufacture this system, who's going to do what? So between the, the MGU and the, the battery side, tell me about how y'all figured out who was going to do what, because this is on top of getting engines ready for next season, this is also a big project to take on. Yeah, I mean, both of ours, you know, we've learned a lot. Like on the production side, Honda and, and GM have a joint venture on the Ultium battery pack. So this kind of moved into an era where we had an issue, that we had a problem with the hybrid system, so we decided to kind of join forces with IndyCar collaborating it. And we kind of looked at the bits and pieces and separated it out, which made sense. Uh, Salter's team, Dave Salter and all those guys, they had a lot of experience with some of the super caps. The, the new motor supplier that we want to go with is located in Great Britain, so it made sense for Chevy Ilmore to kind of take over that side of the, of the thing. So it's been packaging, collaboration, engineering, and really taking that racing know-how that both sides have really honed over 
trying to beat each other to death over decades. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was kidding about the arm wrestling. See, right here. We're getting up and going. Delightful. See, delightful. You, delightful. you delightful. do the arm wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, he's going to snap my arm off. Come on, Salters. <laughs>